at five, Jamie Oliver says he's still not happy with the nation's school dinners. He plans to revisit his campaign because he's not satisfied with the government's action on the issue. The celebrity chef challenged the junk food culture and pressed for healthier school meals during his last campaign. So good news kids, you can look forward to more of your favourite chicken nuggets and pizzas being taken away. At four, Lindsay Lohan has turned down a nightclub owner's offer to bail her out of her latest legal woe. Not because she's wanted to turn her nose up at a freebie, but because she insists she's innocent. A model has filed a case against the actress, claiming she stole her $11,000 mink coat. Lohan supposedly took the coat as she left a New York nightclub after a birthday party in January. The coat was later returned, but only after Lohan had been photographed wearing an identical one on the same night. At three, so it would seem some people think Victoria Beckham can act. Posh Spice is reportedly set to return to US TV show Ugly Betty, following a successful cameo role last year. The Spice Girl appeared in the show, playing herself as a bridesmaid to catty fashion boss Wilhelmina Slater. Impressed TV bosses asked Beckham to return, and the star has now reportedly agreed to a regular guest spot on the programme. In it too, lots of semi-clad women and Robert Downey Jr. That's what you can expect from the latest Hollywood movie in the works. Playboy is a Hugh Hefner biopic in the making, and the Iron Man star is set to play the lead. After unexpected success in his last film, he's now one of the hottest properties in town, and he's about to appear in what will surely be one of the hottest films in town. In at one, musicians from across the continent battle it out later in the 53rd Eurovision Song Contest. Tensions mounting as acts from 43 countries prepare to take to the stage in Belgrade. Former X Factor contestant Andy Abraham will be representing the UK this year, but Sweden are hotly tipped to come out on top. Not to worry, most of us only watch it for Terry Wogan, and after all, it's taking part that counts.